BTEC Applied Science, uh, and this is for the Astronomy Unit, Unit 16, Assignment C and D uh, put together, and this is Task 2. I've already done a video for Task 1. So this is Assignment C, D, Task 2. What do you have to do? Well, it's a research and report, so you find out loads of information uh, and you put it in a report. Uh, your teacher should explain most of it to you, the tricky bits certainly, uh, but then other stuff you find out for yourself. Three sections. Section one is about space flight. Section two, space products. Section three, the future of space exploration. Very briefly to start with, space flight, what the history of space flight, what significant moments were there? in the history of space flight. Why is getting into space difficult? What factors need to be considered? And then training astronauts, getting astronauts ready for takeoff and for living in space. Section two is about space products, uh, a report on at least five products which were developed as a result of space flight that we use in our everyday lives. And what work do scientists do in space that could benefit our lives. Section three is about the future, what missions are in the pipeline, manned missions, unmanned missions, and also um, discuss as well possibly life on other planets. Uh, will we ever leave this solar system? So a bit more detail, section one. Section one, a detailed history of space flight. I would say from Sputnik, which was the first ever satellite, all the way up to SpaceX. Now, obviously you're not gonna include every mission, but what were the, the, the key missions, the most important ones? Things you should certainly mention would be things like uh, the first person to orbit the Earth, Yuri Gagarin, the um, Apollo 11, the first people to walk on the surface of the moon, uh, talk about the space shuttle and why it's important, talk about the Hubble telescope, one or two other important telescopes as well. What difficulties were overcome for these missions? Uh, how do we put rockets into space? Now, lots of information here, lots of different sections, lots of different factors involved. The materials that rockets are made out of, uh, the fuel that's used, uh, the hazards. Why is sending people up into space dangerous? Uh, I wouldn't go on a spaceship. Um, what well-known accidents have taken place? For example, the Challenger space shuttle accidents. Uh, put plenty of detail about it. What happened? Why did it blow up? Why is space bad for your health? There is a suggestion that a poster could be done of this. If you show the picture of a body and then around it all the different things, why is microgravity living in space bad for your health? Uh, and so how do astronauts stay healthy when they're up in the International Space Station? What do they have to do to stay healthy? What are the costs uh, involved of putting things into space? What communica communication issues might there be? If you send people to Mars, why is it very difficult to have a conversation with them? Escape velocity, what's that then? Uh, what's this equation here? Can you do some examples using that equation to work out the escape velocity of the Earth and perhaps one or two other celestial bodies as well? And then when you're in orbit, uh, staying in orbit, how fast do you have to travel at different radiuses? Uh, launch data, it suggested that you put some launch data in the different velocities at different times. Um, how were a case study, how were the Apollo astronauts trained for their missions? What did NASA do to get their astronauts ready to do the jobs that they had to do, uh, ready for the forces that happened to a, a person uh, on takeoff? There are massive, massive, you, you pull a lot of G's at takeoff. And then living in microgravity, what training did they do to get people to work in microgravity? I'll give you a clue, it may have involved swimming pools for some reason. Section two, 
Uh, details of at least five products that benefit our everyday lives that were developed as a result of space exploration. Uh, one of them would be perhaps GPS, global positioning. Uh, and what research do scientists do on the ISS that benefits society today? Uh, it could be to do with making new materials or developing technology or developing medicines or just learning how to live in space that could be very useful in the future. So uh, a good detailed report here about products and science that has done it in space, developed in space. And then section three, what's in the pipeline? A selection of planned manned and unmanned missions and not just by NASA. Uh, there's other countries doing some very interesting things and private companies now are getting involved. Uh, what are the goals of these missions? What uh, benefits could there be from them? What will we learn from them about the universe? OK, uh, any other particular issues involved with them? What difficulties would need to be overcome? What would the costs of these missions be? You'll notice the pictures I've put there. There's the, the James Webb telescope, which at time of making this video isn't still up there. Well, it's not up there yet. Uh, and then the uh, Artemis mission is something in the pipeline, going to the moon again, people going to the moon again. And then finally, could we have a discussion about life on other planets? Uh, I discuss with my class something called the Drake equation. I discuss SETI, S-E-T-I. And could humans ever travel beyond our solar system? What difficulties would need to be overcome to travel the massive, massive, massive distances involved leaving our solar system.